Man, you guys aren't gonna believe this. I saw one of my heart failure patients downstairs in their hospital gown getting Wendy's. It was crazy. Dang, that's a big lunch. You must be hungry. Yeah, I had a pretty intense workout earlier, so it's days like today when I order the eight for eight. All right, our next patient's just one floor up. Why don't we take the stairs? Yeah, sure, sure. One, two, three, okay. Fuck. God, it's so high. Fuck. Didn't you have COVID recently? Yeah, I thought I did, but turns out it was nothing. Oh, and 1% uh, of people picked this answer and I um, <laughs> guess it was fucking wrong. Oh God, urgent COVID test results. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, positive. <phone rings> Hello? Hi, I'm calling by the COVID screener. Are you COVID positive? Yeah, I was wondering what I'm supposed to- What hospital? The... Yeah, perfect. We recommend you a quarantine for 17 minutes. Are you sure? 17 minutes? Yeah, I think so. And then I go back to work? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Yeah, I think so. What are you eating? Tin foil? Oh yeah, they're uh, almonds, my uh... <laughs> My doctor says they prevent COVID. Who's your doctor? Oh yeah, it's Dr. Oz. Yeah, Dr. Oz. You know? And does he tell you to smack your lips like that when you chew? No, nah, but my wife hates uh, the noise. So I hate him when I'm at work, yeah. This is the Wayne State Campus Health Center, right? Yeah, why? Yeah, I was just making sure that I'm not having some kind of weird fever dream. Did you say fever? No, 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 no. But speaking of that, are you gonna ask if I'm having symptoms? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm um, uh, are you having symptoms? Yeah, I'm out of breath for like, yeah, for like past like two, three semesters. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Well, thanks. Bye.
Hi, I'm the math student. Oh my god, where have you been? We only have an hour and a half before round starts. I, I know, I'm really sorry, but I tested COVID positive and they told me to wait. Are you kidding me? Did okay. you at least fax a screenshot of your COVID screener to the, sec the clerkship secretary? Did I fucking what? No, I didn't fax the screener snapshot. Oh my god, all right. Just at least wear this. Okay. Please tell me you've been eating almonds. You guys do with this shit? Yeah, CVS called, and um, turns out it was a false positive, probably. So I think it was just my own heart failure acting up. Okay, I think Wendy's is probably in cahoots with Big Tomato, because look at the size of these things. I ordered a burger, not a salad. Come on, Tim. You, you, you can't leave all that vitamin C on the table. What about your coagulation cascade? That's vitamin K, big fella. Damn it. I... I thought all this shit would go away after step one. Like, I can't take this crap anymore. I can't, I can't keep any of it straight. There's just too much to know. I can't even get the basic questions right on rounds. So, question for you, student. Our patient takes thiazides for blood pressure medications at home. His blood pressure has been 140s over 90s. Can you think of any other medication to start him on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yes. Yeah. I, 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 I can think of uh, medications. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, uh, 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 Let's just restart his home medication. I don't even know how I made it this far. Same, like, I just feel so out of place most of the time. Yesterday I was asked to do this crazy procedure that just felt way beyond my level. Okay, sir, I will now administer the flu vaccine. Okay. Okay. So now it's where I put on sterile gloves, right? You don't need sterile gloves. I'm gonna this put on literally gloves. just a flu shot. Wait, no, I need to put my gown on first. Wait, I need to drape the patient. Okay. Sir, I'm just gonna put this drape on you, okay? I wanna make sure we're careful. So I'm gonna put this drape, and so now I can put my gown on. First thing. Okay, Must okay. Be. I can put on my sterile gloves. I need to put this hair nut on. Okay. Can I do the shot now? Do I need to listen to his bowel sounds? Just take the shot and put it in his arm. Don't let your dreams be dreams. That's a big needle. Alright, breathe, relax. You're just gonna go ahead and put it in his deltoid. What if I miss his deltoid? Okay, sir, I will now administer the flu vaccine. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put your deltoid. One, two, I'm gonna count down for ten, okay? Ten, nine, take the shot in the arm. I'm gonna count down from 20, okay? 20, 19. Just take the shot and put it in his arm. Okay, I'm gonna count down from 30. Take the shot in the arm. Oh, God, I can't do this. I can't do this, I'm gone. Bye, bye, you're gonna get the flu this year, I'm sorry. See you later. <coughs> I'm so not qualified to be doing that. Yeah, I just don't get how some of these doctors do it. The pressure's just way too much. Hey, did I tell you I did get my event planned though yesterday? That's a little win. Oh, no way, man. That's awesome. That took forever to plan, didn't it? Yeah, it 
It definitely was not the nicest. Hi, how's it going? So I am planning an interest group meeting and um, hoping like 25 people, hoping to get approval for it. If you go down this hall and just walk as far as you can, you'll get to a set of doors. Okay. If you go walk past those doors, you make a right. Okay. Just keep walking as far as you can until you see another door. And there should be a desk right there. Okay. This way. That as far as I can go. As far as you can go. Okay. So I am looking to plan an interest group meeting. Okay. Um, hoping to have an on person, like twenty five people. She's okay. right over there. Awesome. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. You're welcome. Thank you. So I am hoping to plan an event on campus. I think we're gonna have twenty five people. I was told that you might be the person to talk to. Might have to talk to Dr. Chadwell. Dr. Chadwell. Yes, you know you gotta do a few things before we can approve okay. the meeting for you. Hi, Dr. Chadwell. <laughs> Hoping to play an event on campus. Um, Want to have like 25 people there. I was bouncing around a few different people and they told me that I had to ask you for approval. Well, I mean, it sounds like we've done a lot of this stuff, but there are a few more hoops to jump through. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I've been all over. I can talk to a few more people, whatever, whatever needs to be done. Okay. No, but I'm, there is literally a hoop to jump through. I a mean, literal hoop. I've done this. Believe me. You're having match day, right? It's on the calendar. So let's, let's just get this done right now. So, you know, okay. Think kind of club. Come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. It's very good. Okay. Nursing. Wait, that wasn't no, it? No, nursing nursing school. This is always the last stop. I We're to... only the medical school. Okay. I have to go talk to someone One else. More. Though. Yeah. All right. Almost there though. Great job. Oh, it looks like a mile. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't mean to give you the wrong directions. If you could just go ahead, fill out pages 70 through 600, I... we'll be right with you. Everything filled out. Page two through six hundred, all done. Perfect. Well, I needed you to do sixty through seven hundred. But if you could just fill these out for me now, you'll be done. Okay. And if you take them to Dawn, she'll help you out. All right. Where's Stone's office? That way. I was told to fill out this section and the supplemental and hand them to you. Is this the right place? And this is for what? For an interest group meeting on campus, in person. You don't need those forms as long as you just send me an email with how many people. And those forms, there's a shred box at the end of the hall if you want to just shove them in there. All right, I will send one email Perfect. and put these in the shredder. Put all that stuff in the shredder. We don't need any of it. In the shredder. Yeah. There's a box. Thank you. It's a fast response. I have to personally vaccinate every attendee myself. God, someone's literally going to lose a limb from this. I can't do that 25 more times. All right. Welcome, everyone. I am so glad you got to make it out to our meeting today. I'm um, looking forward to having a, a fun, 
insightful, enjoyable afternoon. You're looking pretty tired, Dorothy. How have you been? Not good. Um, I spent all day yesterday trying to find my team. The original email said to go to Harper at 5 a.m., um, but when they weren't there, I emailed my coordinator, and she got back to me at 9 telling me to go to Sinai. So then I drove over there. I found some random medical team who yelled at me for being late before they even realized that I wasn't even supposed to be there. So then they sent me to DRH, where I finally found my team, but then I had to send a fax to some guy in Connecticut um, to get EMR access. And then while I was waiting for that, my intern asked me to talk to social work. But of course, the social worker got mad at me because I didn't know anything about the patient. I didn't have the pager or phone number for the team. And I didn't know the difference between subacute rehab and skilled nursing facilities. So then my team left when I was talking to social work and they didn't tell me what time to meet them um, the next day. So I got here at 5 a.m., but it turns out it's a clinic day. So I didn't even have to be here until 9.45. Jeez, that sucks. Why do your feet hurt, Ben? I was standing in clinic all day. I literally didn't sit down the entire time. They didn't have any chairs for you? Not really. Hello. You can sit there. That's the nurse's chair. Where can I sit? Those are the med student chairs. This? What is this? The LCMA requires that we have a certain number of chairs for students to sit in, but they don't specify whether it needs to be two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Currently, we're in the 99th percentile for both variety and number. Cool. Hey, there's nothing work around here. Good. I, I feel like I, I spend all day rounding and then all night studying and it, nothing gets in. It's like I don't even have a brain. Yeah, I've pretty much lost all desire to take care of my heart health. Yeah, I just get so scared anytime I'm asked to do like literally anything. Yeah, third year can be pretty rough. I feel like the worst part is that no one actually knows what's going on. Like no one here is on the same page about anything. Yeah, that sounds about right. My third year was pretty chaotic, too. Can you tell us more about fourth year? Well, for one thing, you no longer have shelf exams. So you don't have to study if you don't want to. And you have whole months off for interviews. So once that transcript is submitted, you don't have to ever worry about honoring again. And then you have online rotations which means that you don't have to wake up early. And even if you do have to go into the hospital, a lot of times your senior resident will know that you're a fourth year and just send you home at the beginning of the day. You have time to exercise, to travel, you can even pick up new hobbies. The world is your oyster.